When you reach to a conflict setting, indeed there are days when things are very difficult and there's a constant fighting, but also there are days that, you know, life is a, in a sense, a, if I can call it normal. So when people go to the market, they go for weddings, they go for birthday parties, uh, they send their kids to school. Conflict does not um, define who they are as a people. I've only ever worked in conflict settings since I left my country. And so for me, working as project coordinator, I prepare myself, um, just trying to make sure as much as I can that I understand what is going on. There's only so much benefit that one can get from, you know, watching the news and so on. Uh, very few things for me are as beneficial as getting to a place and talking to people who have experienced these conflicts all their lives. When you get to a place and you try to see life for what it is, um, and, and realize how you relate to it, but also how people around you relate to it. It does somehow help to, to put things in perspective and to be able to do the job that you're supposed to do because we would certainly do the job differently depending on what perspective we have of, of the context and of the conflict. This is helpful for me because it, it also is um, in a part uh, about humanizing the people that you are working with uh, and not just reducing them to the conflict that is, that is around them and that is affecting them. That was the time when we were stepping up because we understood that as the situation gets worse, um, the needs of the people increase. Uh, seeing how the situation was back then and going from the 80s to the 90s to the 2000s and the kinds of challenges that MSF was confronted with, um, I think in a sense, you do see that challenges come in a different way, but essentially it's still the same challenges. And mainly it's about access, it's about security, it's about humanitarian principles. Uh, so we want to, to do more. Uh, not because we think that we can provide care to everyone in the country, but because we understand that if the other health facilities are, are not working, um, the number of people who need medical care will obviously increase.